Long hidden from international view, the Republic of Guinea, located in West Africa, was thrust into the international limelight in recent years, thanks to its extensive underdeveloped mineral resources, including the renowned Simandu iron ore mine, a high-profile ongoing mining corruption case, the Ebola outbreak, and importantly, a first democratically elected president, Alpha Conde, keen to rebuild Guinea's image and push the country onto the international stage. Alpha Conde was elected in 2010 on the back of an ambitious vision for Guinea's development, based on wide-ranging economic reforms and anti-corruption measures to re-engage the international community and foreign investors. President Conde solicited counsel from internationally renowned advisors and made inspiring statements about national development. International partners have taken him at his word and re-engagement has been swift. Unfortunately, over the past five years, the much hoped for development has yet to be realized. This development was premised on the timely realization of Guinea's mining potential. Whilst foundations for sustained growth have been laid, economic progress has been slow and mining sector reform unsatisfactory, factors compounded by the decline in global commodities prices. Social and ethnic cohesion in the country also remains fragile. Disputes between the president and the Guinean opposition have tainted domestic politics since 2010. Over 60 opposition supporters died in protests in the past few years, notably in the run-up to the 2013 legislative elections, which were organized with a three-year delay and saw Conde's ruling RPG party win a majority of seats in the National Assembly. The presidential election is scheduled for the 11th of October 2015. Incumbent President Alpha Conde is bidding for a second term in what the international community hopes will be the country's second genuinely democratic presidential election. President Conde is running in the election along with seven other candidates. Selou Dalan Diallo, Conde's main rival and the head of the main opposition party, the UFDG. Sidya Toure, the leader of Guinea's second largest opposition party, the UFR, and five other candidates, Lansana Kuyate, Papakoli Karuma, George Tunkara, Faya Milimuno, and the youngest and only female candidate, Marie-Madeleine Dubaté. The context in the run-up to the poll is tense, and the result is likely to be controversial. So, this election, and possibly more importantly its immediate aftermath, are decisive for Guinea both in terms of its economic development and the entrenchment of democratic process in the country.